So, you just bought a cool Jackson guitar with Duncan designed pickups and you're wondering whether they are the real deal authentic Simmer Duncans? Let me just explain the difference and help you decide if to change them or not. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. What's up guys? I hope you're having a great time. In today's video, I want to talk about the actual difference between original Simmer Duncan and Duncan designed pickups. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, this would be a great time to do it. Also, leave a comment and like if you dig what I'm doing here. So, this might seem like a subtle topic, but it's really a very good question to ask when you're guitar shopping online or directly in a real shop. As in the latest years, I've seen too much confusion about pickup branding. Honestly, apart from the very first impression given by a guitar's shape and finish color, what really makes a huge difference in a guitar's quality are its specs, pickups being one of the most important factors. I'm sure you've probably seen somewhere a, let's say, mid-range priced guitar featuring Duncan designed single coils or humbuckers and you've thought that you're getting a good instrument with very good pickups and electronics for very little money, which in some cases could be true. So let's break this all down. Simmer Duncan is a very well-known American company that makes the majority of their products in the USA, so they actually design them in the USA, assemble them in the USA and QC them in the USA. They've been the most famous company making pickups for rock and metal for decades and if you say Simmer Duncan you immediately think of high quality products. The bad thing about it, if we consider it as a bad thing of course, is that if you want a real authentic set of USA made Simmer Duncan pickups, you'll have to spend big money on them. In fact, especially in the last 10 years or so, all the best guitar manufacturers tend to have original Simmer Duncan pickups only on guitars that sell for at least a thousand dollars or more. For the less expensive guitars, they use third-party pickups. Some companies started to develop their own pickups, Jackson for example does it, Gibson does it, Solar does it, and of course the tone of the guitar changes a little bit from an original USA made Seymour Duncan pickup. Because what happens during the production is that, for example, Duncan designed pickups are indeed designed by Seymour Duncan USA and based off some of their popular models. But the only thing is that Duncan designed pickups are actually manufactured in eastern countries like Korea, China, Japan and Indonesia. So what could happen, especially in some very high volume unspecialized production batches, like for everything else on the planet nowadays, there could be QC issues with them. I'm not saying they sound bad or they're corrupted or they fail, but you have to know that there might be some QC issues with them. Duncan design pickups are really only available as original equipment manufacturer or OEM. This means that you cannot really buy these pickups aftermarket. You can only buy a guitar with them installed into. This way works also for other parts of the guitar. For example, the Floyd Rose 1000 series is known to have been manufactured in Korea. This reduces the production costs of the bridges. They're only available as OEM versions. And as for the pickups, there might be some QC issues with them too. Now, this is a really tough question that brings very subjective answers only, just like asking whether a Bolton guitar sounds better than an Act Through One or whether an M Simulator plugin sounds better than the real amplifier itself. What I can say though is that I'm a huge fan of the old Made in Japan Jackson guitars from the early 2000s and they all almost came with Duncan design pickups. For example, I had a Dicky 2, a couple RR3s, a couple KE3s, a couple Kelly Stars, a Warrior XT, even a Roswell Rhodes, all from Japan, all made in the early 2000s, all equipped with Duncan design pickups and they always sounded absolutely fantastic. During the last 25 years I made a lot of guitar modding and hardware upgrading, especially pickups, so I want to share with you all this table to understand better the most known Duncan designed models. SC101 cross between SSL2 and SSL6. SC101B same SSL1 but snappier sound. HB101 Simmer Duncan 59 with more highs. HB102 jazz pickup with more bass. HB103 Simmer Duncan JB with more mids. HB101 
104 it's a Seymour Duncan Dimebacker but with more highs. HB 105 is like the Seymour Duncan Active Blackouts but with less mids. HB 108 also known as the Detonators they sound like Seymour Duncan Invaders but with less bass. HR 101 are like the Seymour Duncan Hot Rails but with less mids. So guys, are these OEM pickups better than the original ones? Do they sound better inside a mix? Do they behave sonically like a USA model? A lot of recording questions, nobody can really answer them. I mean, if your guitar has Duncan designed pickups and you install a full-blown original handmade high-quality JB Jazz Seymour Duncan set, you're going to notice the difference for sure, but how big is it? Let's say that if you own a very expensive guitar and you want to keep its value, you'd better keep USA made Seymour Duncans in installed in it. However, if you're more on a budget side, you want to save some money and still play great, then be not afraid to go with Duncan designed pickups. Just keep in mind you might get some QC issues some when. And of course, always keep an eye open on the used guitar market. There are a ton of very cheap used guitars sold for very little money with original Seymour Duncans in them. That's good business, believe me, I can consider myself an expert for this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, it's totally free and it really helps me grow on YouTube. If you want to directly support me, go buy my albums on Bandcamp. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.